Hey, beautiful. I always have something to smell and get your attention. This is amazing. Anyways, today we're going to talk about jade eggs. We're going to talk about the conditions, the con concerns and controversies of it. But before we jump into that, I know that I also promised, um, what is it that I promised? I promised <laughs> a story about my five-year-old self and how I discovered um, just that there was an unhealthy relationship around sexuality. Okay, so I want to share the story. It's very cute. It's very sweet. It's how things started. All right, so picture this. I am five years old, and I'm brought up in a um, family that is sex positive, meaning I'm not shamed you know, to, around my body and my sexuality. And I'm five years old, and I have discovered consciously, because I knew about it unconsciously for a long time, but I have discovered consciously this amazing spot on my body that every time I touch it, I feel so good. I feel so good that I believe that I have to tell all my girlfriends. So, um, oh, and hi, Katerina. Lovely to see you. And so what I want to do is talk about what happened with those girlfriends. So picture this. It's a hot summer day. It's on a native reservation in Canada. And I'm in the basement of my friend's house. And it's a little group of all five, six-year-old girls. And I am showing them this special place on my body so they can find their own special place and start to feel good, right? And we're having a ball. This is fun for us. Nobody's ashamed. Everyone's curious. We're just exploring. We're not touching one another. We're just checking out our own bodies. When the older sister walks in, now, she immediately zones in on me, grabs me by the hair, drags me up the stairs, is yelling and screaming about how disgusting and perverted and evil I am, throws me outside the house, and uh, basically says I will never see my friends again. Now, you would think that that experience would have been profoundly shaming for me, but as I'm kind of like flying through the air, but she threw me off the porch. <laughs> it's only a few steps up, but still flying through the air as a five-year-old. I'm thinking in my head, she doesn't know this spot because if she did, she wouldn't be that angry. So, so here's um, why today is so important. I have always, my entire life, been an advocate for natural pleasure, the pleasure of being a human being, the pleasure of having a beautiful body, the pleasure of living at home in yourself. And we live in a world that is not okay with just being a natural human. It is not okay for us to want to cultivate pleasure. It's considered frivolous. It's, it's a waste of time or it's bad, or it's this, or it's that. We have a lot of opinions around sexuality because sexuality has basically been made into a commodity. And so what I want to do is talk about that, but with the lens of the jade egg or the yoni egg because there's um, a lot of information out there right now around the jade egg and the yoni egg that I feel... Um, women are concerned about, they're confused about, there's controversy, there's major issues. So if you're on the call right now, what I would love is you could maybe post a concern of your own or a maybe a confusion that you have around the practice and I will also answer those. Now if you're watching this as a replay, still post something because the replays are very active and I come back and I answer everything. So whether you're live with me in this moment or you're watching this as a replay, please leave me comments. This is how we learn and grow as a community. And if you've been following me for the last um, few weeks with all the different offerings I'm doing, these live Facebook lives, my webinars, everything, you will understand the passion that I have for getting real. I don't know about you, but I like to keep it real. Real women, real sex. If you agree with that, just show me a little sign that you love it, okay? In some way that you love um, being real with yourself, being a real person, and having real sex. What I mean by that is we are no longer living by um, predetermined standards 
determined by who knows who of how we live our lives and especially how we express ourselves sexually. This is so crucial, ladies. I have devoted my life to this. My PhD is in this. I had a strong um, look. I dissected and looked into the, the female psyche and our relationship with our beautiful, intimate bodies. Oh, someone said they just put her jagged in. Woo, I am wearing mine too, by the way, sister. But I just want to make this point. And um, I have seen the detrimental effects of all the um, ideas and social conditionings and uh, beliefs and mandates have on our sexuality. They actually shut us down. They can actually lead to physical pain, emotional pain, um, mental distress, hormonal imbalance, purely orientation. Of course, there's body stuff too to look at, but right now I'm looking at orientation because we're going to talk about the jade egg and the oni egg and the concerns that we have around that. So right now I'm not seeing any questions about it, so I'm just going to jump in with some observations that I have had. Okay. So here's interesting, there's, there's two schools of thought. One, there's a lot of women who believe that they're not good enough. If you are one of those women, also give me that sign. If you've ever thought that you're not good enough just as you are, exactly as you are today, that that's not good enough, that you have to do something to improve yourself in some way or another, let me know if that's true for you because it's certainly true for me. There is a standard of the perfect woman, and we're all trying to live up to this perfect woman standard, and it's impossible. So what that standard does, what our social conditioning does, these social mandates, our domestication, it sets us up to believe that we're not complete. And when we feel that we're not complete, now it's not true, but we feel that way. When we feel that we're not complete, and then we approach anything, like a learning of some kind, from that incomplete place, what do you think we're doing? We're actually resolving egoic tension. We're resolving, we're trying to make ourselves better somehow, but it's based on the fact that we actually believe that we're not complete. It's crazy. Yes, for me too. For me too, ladies, I am not separate from this. Many of you believe that I'm just this like untouchable, empowered thing. I am so deeply human. I cry on my own. I feel um, ugly. I feel not good enough. I feel like I don't have it sorted. I mean, there's just so many things that I go through. I let myself feel it and then I come back into the truth. I'm complete. It's okay. I, I am what I am in this moment and I love that. It takes um, conscious choice to make pleasure a lifestyle. It takes conscious choice to claim our sexual sovereignty and to truly step into that space. Every day and in all our moments, this is not a light hearted uh, choice because it's so much easier to just conform. It's so much easier to just live according to everybody else's ideas and ideals. It's easier. It doesn't necessarily feel good, but it's easier. But to be sexually sovereign, to be your own woman, to take a stand in your self-love. I just met, get this, I just met a young woman, beautiful young woman yesterday, who had never heard of the idea of self-love till she read my book. It made me really sad. And she said, none of her friends have ever heard of the concept of self-love. Now, I was blown away because self-love has been in my life for so long that I just think everybody knows about it. But it's not true. When I look at social conditioning, it's self-hate, self-loathing that is um, promoted. So self-love and we don't even really know what that is, I really would prefer to re reword it to profound self-respect, is an audacious act. It's an act of courage.
are rich. And when it comes to yoni eggs and jade eggs, and going into that practice, if we're going into that practice believing that we're incomplete, that there's something we're trying to fix about ourselves, we will probably get some benefit, but we're uh, denying ourselves an exquisite transformation. Currently, the way the jade egg is being taught, the yoni egg practice, is like a sport. And the promises, if you read the promises, they blatantly show you that we are a culture that somehow um, can't handle reality and we are wanting to make true a fantasy. We don't want to love this real person. We want to become something that we're not. Interesting, right? That's not how I approach this practice. I approach this practice by inviting you home into yourself. I have seen the most powerful transformation in thousands and thousands of women on physical levels with a vulvar pain, uh, pain with intercourse, vaginal dryness, um, inability to have penetration, um, all the issues that hunt haunt sorry uh, women on a physical level in their pelvis i have seen those issues when addressed with profound respect when addressed in, with a slow methodology my system the desilet method has been developed over two decades it's been analyzed by gynecologists mds pelvic pain specialists osteopaths i've had professionals tear it apart and look at it because I want you to have the best of the best, like true um, teachings that actually work. But beyond just the techniques, because that's kind of how we focus on jade egg as a sport, as a technique, there's something deeper and greater that you're being invited into. So the greatest controversy for me is when I see that we're shaming women for choosing yoni eggs or jade eggs. There's been a huge controversy around that and a lot of shaming, public shaming happening, which I think is bullshit. And I've said that on camera. Yes, I think it's bullshit. The same people who shame women are the same people who will use sexual tactics to sell to you. Same people. So what does that tell you? That is only possible when we live in the world where women don't claim their sexual sovereignty. If you and I are sexually sovereign, those tactics do not work for us. We're like, that's ridiculous. It doesn't apply to me. Could you please give me some real information? Can you please share with me non-hype, but something like legitimate, right? So um, I wanted to see if there's any comments right now on jade eggs. Nothing yet. Okay, so anyways, people are here for that, but they're not commenting on it. Yes, yeah, self-love. I love it, Silka. Thank you. So I'm going to stay with the jade egg and the yoni egg because I did, did say I would talk about that. The greatest issue with it right now is it's being addressed as a sport. You just pop it in and you go. A lot of women, and even close women that I know, that's how they treat their bodies. We treat our bodies like... It's a thing. Our bodies is not a thing. She's a she, and she is you. And she is precious. How we treat our bodies is how we end up being treated in the world. We condition ourselves to how we want to be treated. So the first level of jade egg practice, the true jade egg practice, is to reorient you into your sexual sovereignty. It's to reorient you to coming home to yourself. Super important. That's the foundation. Then the techniques can come in. And there's so many. I've created over 60 of them. Amazing, right? So someone's asking what uh, my daily jaded practice is like. Gosh, um, Katharina, this really varies depending on my mood. And plus, I've been doing it for two decades. So what I'm going to do will probably be different than someone who's just learning. 
However, I still do a lot of the foundational practices. So one of my favorite practices, which is everybody learns this right at the beginning, and it's my favorite for a trillion reasons, is the sipping practice. The sipping practice has so many benefits, I can't even tell you. It's amazing. But let me just even demonstrate it very gently here. So you probably, I don't know, maybe it's a refinement. So you take your egg and you place it on the inside of your inner lips. And there's a whole process that happens around that, but I'm gonna skip right to the sipping practice, but there is a, a warm up activity that happens before that. And the sipping practice is just very lightly pulsing and then learning to yawn open your vagina. Pulsing and yawning open. Now the breathing that comes with that, the breathing that comes with that is unique. So if you have a healthy pelvis, um, what I do is I breathe in on the pulse, and I exhale and spread and yawn open. But if you are suffering from pain, tightness, inability to have penetration, the breathing will be in opposition. So in the pulsing, you'll be exhaling and you're gonna inhale and yawn open, really powerful. I go into this technique a lot in my Jade Egg Mastery course. I do this one a lot. It has, like I said, incredible amount of benefits. What you want to do is make sure that you're not rushing through this practice because here's what's amazing about it. You can literally reprogram the cellular memory of your vaginal tissue. But to do that requires conscious practice, okay? So let me see. Um, someone's asking if I sit. Um, no, I prefer lying down. You can do that sitting, but I prefer lying down and here's why. When you lie down, you relax. And ladies, we are often so tense. So what I want you to practice with your Jade Egg practice is to get yourself in a state of what I call relaxed arousal. This is really crucial has tremendous benefit on many, many levels. In fact, I de dedicated an entire bonus week-long training just on relaxed arousal because it's so important and it's uber activating in so many ways, orgasmically, pleasurely, um, even with female ejaculation and, and all of that, including confidence and many other amazing parts that come from relaxed arousal. So laying down is, um, how I prefer. Now, that doesn't mean that I don't occasionally do this in different ways, but again, I'm a very advanced practitioner. I've been doing this for 20 years, probably over 10,000 hours of practice, so I'm going to be in a very different place than when you're first starting out. So don't try and be me. Try and just be with you exactly as you are in this moment, okay? So, Another controversy around the, the jade egg is that it's supposed to be about having a tight pussy. And here's what I know, because I've checked with osteopaths, I've checked with pelvic pain specialists, and also just in my own methodology, working with women. If you concentrate on tightness, 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 you will exercise yourself into a form of sexual dysfunction either a form of incontinence or um, inhibiting your, your pleasure and even to the point of causing prolapse and pain. If your Jade Egg practitioner that is teaching you right now isn't addressing those issues, you shouldn't be learning with them because they're not properly trained. There are very little standards in this industry right now, very little. And it's just because it's not anyone's fault. It's just because no one ever questioned the original teachings and then they just kept getting put out with no questioning. But that's why you want a rebellious, audacious, daring person who's embodied to teach you, which is someone like myself. Because I spent 20 years 
tearing it apart and questioning everything. So, so important. Okay, so I'm gonna look at some questions here. Um, let's see, should it go in then the egg? Okay, I'm not sure what you mean by that. So here's the thing, the jade egg, the point of the jade egg is not to put it in your body. The number one point of jade egg is for you to have right relationship with yourself and your sexuality. That's number one. If your vagina is saying no, why are you pushing it in? Right? That is like so important. But if your vagina is saying yes, then she may need some training. It's like any other part of her body in terms of exercise. Starting slow and doing it correctly will give you some amazing benefits. So I'm just going to see if there's um, other questions. Do you set an intention before putting it in? Absolutely. Why would we um, do this practice, ladies? If you're here, why would you do this practice? So let's see, someone's saying, I stopped using my GDA because due to stress, I was having pain and sometimes pressure behind my pubic bone and sudden contractions of my pelvic floor. I'm afraid of using it and regret not using it. What can you suggest to me? Oh my gosh. Do you know how common that is? So it's not your fault. What I would suggest is actually learning directly with me. That's what one of the things I'm just gonna blatantly say it, just I'm gonna suggest that. If you don't have the willingness or capacity to do that at this time, then at least do this part, okay? Now I know it's pain uh, induced by the practice. This is very common. For, for multiple reasons, think about it. Your pelvic floor muscles are not used to exercise. If you've ever had atrophied muscles and you try to exercise them, they get sore really fast, like really fast, and their recovery time takes a while. So the first thing I'm gonna suggest is that you slow right down. Go really slowly. The second thing I'm gonna suggest is that you ask permission of your body, always, 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 and you deeply listen. And you stop, you don't keep pushing. You stop when you feel like it's been enough. The third thing I'm gonna suggest is only work, and initially not even with the egg. I want you to work with your finger, and here's why. Your finger will give you biofeedback. You'll be able to very quickly to feel what's actually happening, if you're actually pulsing, and if you're actually yawning open. If you don't know how to yawn open, make that your practice for the next month. Just learning, literally how to yawn open your vagina. That action alone, that skill, will make intercourse way more interesting and pleasurable. It will make even going to a doctor's visit easier because you'll be able to open and not contract when, when they're trying to do a pelvic exam. The skill is amazing. And it is in the softening and melting of our body that more and more pleasure gets activated. So that alone is huge. I'm going to get off this call really, really soon, ladies. So if you don't, if you haven't spoken up about some questions and queries, please do so now. If you do want to train with me, I'm going to tell you how to do that in a few moments. Um, if you're watching this as a replay, leave me your comments because I'm going to answer them. So let's see. So she's not, not induced by the practice. Okay. Um, I would need to then find out a lot more about your situation. But I do know that a lot of women will get um, pelvic cramping and tension based on the practice. However, the majority of us walk around with low-grade pelvic tension all of the time. So here's an exercise that I want you to do. Okay, so I'm going to give you another tip. I want you to notice today how often you clench your pelvic floor. Just notice. And see if you can intentionally soften open. Okay, so that's that's your um, invitation for today. How do you learn to turn it around? You don't need to. Katarina, it, your vagina will actually can flip the egg around. There's multiple reasons for this. But again, why are you doing this practice? To get a bunch of tricks or to actually activate and anchor 
sexual sovereignty, and sexual mastery. To do those things, um, you've got to get over needing to like, unfortunately, it's how we're conditioned, right? We, the school system's conditioned. You want to get an A+, plus, you want to tick things off your to-do list. But when we apply that mentality to our sexuality, we're um, inhibiting the true beauty and the true power of our pleasure and sexuality to emerge. So I really want to invite you to approach this differently. It's okay to have goals, but when it comes to sexuality, goals actually get in the way. So if you were to have an intention, let it be to have profound relationship with yourself. Let it be to discover your own hidden mysteries. Let it be to learn how to deeply listen to your body and follow that listening. Let it be those things because those things will serve you and take you way further than your little immediate goals of doing uh, particular tricks, okay? I'm just saying it like it is. I just, I know what will waste your time. I know what will create entrapment and discouragement. And I also know what leads to you really living your life as a sexually sovereign woman. So yes, Katharina, home to your body. Mari Gelli, I think that's how you say your name. I really hope it is. Um, you're welcome. Grace Lewis, do you have any observations around the jade egg and the retroverted uterus? I'm assuming that my body's wisdom will prevent any further injury. Um, if you use the egg properly, and, and what I mean by that is really the method that I teach it because I can't speak for how other people are teaching, but I've had that method looked at, especially by um, professionals who, who deal with um, prolapses and, and are retroverted and pain and, and all these things, if you do the practice properly, it should not um, hurt you and actually will help your body find its balance. Now, I suggest that you actually learn directly with me. What I'm going to suggest is that you do my live training where you get live coaching because that way I can actually take the practice you're learning and show you an adapted version to do with your particular body which is not something I provide publicly, and it's not something that's um, canned or in my book. It's something live, okay, one-on-one. -on -one. We're doing live coaching calls. Um, that's what I would recommend if you uh, really want to move forward quickly with this, okay? How many minutes a day do you spend on the jade egg practice? Oh, well, it really depends on my body. Sometimes it's as little as 10 minutes, and sometimes could be an hour, hour and a half. It really depends on what I need, okay? When I first started, I would do an hour and a half in the morning and an hour and a half in the evening every single day without fail for years. I never missed a day. Can you believe that? I still can't believe that. I was very de devoted and I had uh, very quick results and um, yeah, my learning was profound by doing that. But here's the thing, I don't want you to impose a time on your practice. What I want you to do is to really listen to your body. So maybe today the practice will only be a couple of minutes. And then maybe the next day it'll be a lot longer. What I want you to learn, what is so audacious, what is so intensely rebellious, is to actually listen to your body and to follow it. That's an act of rebellion, ladies. So be more rebellious, be more daring, and dare to listen, and dare to follow your truth that's emanating from your core, your body. And the only way you're gonna learn about what that is for yourself is spending time with yourself, quality time, conscious time. Time that doesn't, isn't full of ideals and ideas, but time that's open-hearted, connected, and respectful. That's where you're going to see the most amount of profound transformation. Okay. All right, ladies, I'm going to end this Facebook Live. But before I end it, here's what I'd love you to do. If you haven't already considered joining my Jade Egg Mastery course, I would love you to consider it. It is a powerful course. It is a life-changing course because it's going to set you on an incredible pleasure lifestyle. 
Okay, this is something that's going to affect you the rest of your life. So it's an incredible investment. Right now, this week, right now, I'm opening the doors to the live version. That means you get me live on calls. You get to ask me direct questions, and we go deep. This is real, and it's deep. So I want to invite you to just check it out. And to do that, you go to jadeeggmastery.com. jadeeggmastery.com. All the details of the course are laid out there. I really look forward to seeing you on the inside and developing these queries further. Now, if you're watching this as a replay again and you have questions, please leave them in the comments. I will come back and I will answer all, all the questions. Silka, Katrina, Grace, Mary Gelly, I hope that's how you say your name, um, Marlene, all the ladies that are here, the, even the ones who've not commented so I can't see your names, Thank you. Thank you for your hearts. Thank you for your passion. Thank you for your audacity. Thank you for being real, a real woman who really desires to express the truth of her sovereign sexual nature. I love that. I am so honored to spend a little bit of time with you today. I'm going to be doing a whole series of Facebook Lives this week. So please come back. Tomorrow we're doing another one at 10 a.m. Pacific. So come back and let's do this again together and go deeper. Lots of love. Enjoy your Jade Egg practice. Come see me at jadeeggmastery.com and let's explore this deep, amazing practice together. Lots of love, ladies. Love you. Bye, everybody. Have a fabulous day.